welcome i welcome you all to this course called samasa in paninian grammar this is the first course on samasa and i am here to introduce this course to all of you in this video i shall present in brief what all we shall be doing in this particular course compounding is a very important process as far as word building is concerned in sanskrit the sanskrit word for this process is samasa and this is what also appears in the title of this particular course we also observe that this particular process is also very productive in many languages across the globe be it english or german for example or the modern indian languages like hindi marathi as well as tamil telugu etc we also have compound verbs complex predicates which are prevalent in these languages there is another expression that i have seen being used in the activities of natural language processing multi word expressions multi word expressions and also local word groups all these phenomena in modern indian languages and also other languages in the world they are very productive and have remarkable similarity with the process of compounding that is described in paninian grammar in this course we shall study how paninian grammar treats this particular process of compounding or samasa how paninian grammar prescribes as well as describes the process of compounding so what is the precondition for a compound to take place what is the theoretical implication can there be a theory of the process of compounding is there dependency involved in the process of compounding that is a very important question similarly is the question which is very crucial is about the meaning of the compound as there is compositionality as far as the words are concerned so also does it exist in the realm of the meaning so how does the meaning get represented by the compounding process what does the school of grammarians or the vyakaranas say about this aspect what are the types of compounds 
and what are their features? What are the primary features of the compound? And what makes the four types of compounds distinct in terms of the meaning, in terms of the form, etc. We shall study these and many more topics in this particular course and it is hoped that this study will enhance our understanding of the theory of compounding that is propounded by Panini in his grammar of Sanskrit and the later Paninian grammatical tradition which developed this theory further. We will focus in this particular course mainly on the Tatpurusha compound and we shall deal with the other three types of compounds namely Avyayi Bhava, Bahuvrihi and Dvandva in the next course. I hope this course will be found fruitful and beneficial by Sanskritists which are part of the group of Indologists as well as linguists and also the computer scientists. Thank you all.